We are live in Los Angeles where one team will be crowned the best in the world right now. In the stage two final, we watched the San Francisco Shock do what many thought was impossible, end the Vancouver Titans' historic win streak. The Shock came close in the stage one final, but fell to the Titans after a brutal seven map series. For the Shock, this rematch was a long time coming. The Shock battled strong and soon found themselves up 3-2, championship point, as they entered map six, Blizzard World. However, the Vancouver Titans were far from done. They managed to stop the Shock from ever reaching the final checkpoint and were on track to force a seventh and final map. All the Titans needed to do was push the payload further than the Shock, and as they played out their attack, things looked bad for the Shock. The Titans had a massive alt economy advantage as they approached the second checkpoint. The Shock, on the other hand, had very little to defend themselves with. But, through a beautiful sequence of clutch plays and teamwork, the Shock defied all odds, survived the Titans' onslaught of ultimates, and ended the final with a team fight they seemed doomed to lose at the start. Just before this team fight, SF Shock had lost a big battle at the choke point, and to make matters worse, they'd also burnt four ultimates during the fight. With no defensive tools available, SF Shock had to surrender most of the second stretch just to farm up as much ult charge as possible before the Titans' inevitable engagement. Luckily for the Shock, Violet managed to land just enough poke to earn another transcendence right as the Titans engaged. Bumper started swinging into the Shock, but was forced to turn around to block Sinatra and Choyobin's damage coming from the high ground. As Slime went up top to harass Sinatra, Bumper dropped his Earth Shatter and stunned Rascal. With Rascal stunned and low on HP, the Titans moved in for the finish. But at the last second, Violet flew in with his Transcendence and healed Rascal back up to full. Now while the Titans' Earth Shatter and Self Destruct didn't earn any kills, it forced out the Shock's Transcendence and funneled them into the same area. A perfect spot for a Graviton Surge. So Min Su caught four members of the Shock right as Violet's Transcendence expired. With no defensive ultimates left, the Shock were all but doomed. But at the very last second, Super dropped the hammer and stopped the Titans in their tracks. The Earth Shatter caught Haxel and Janu, cutting out a ton of the Titans' damage and even forcing Twilight's Transcendence. Meanwhile, Bumper charged into SF Shock and pinned Moth. But Sinatra, from the high ground, got a bubble out just in time to save his Lucio and foil the Titans' engagement once again. By this point, the Titans had used all of their offensive ultimates and earned zero kills with them. Meanwhile, Sinatra had been roasting the Titans from the high ground the entire time, giving him a ton of ult charge. Sinatra was only at about 35% at the start of the fight. But by the time So Min Su's Graviton Surge and Twilight's Transcendence expired, his ultimate was ready to go. This is where the fight turned for the Shock. As soon as Sinatra's Graviton Surge landed, he, Choyobin, and Violet all jumped the Titan's biggest damage threat, So Min Su's Zarya. The Shock's target focus was so decisive that they cut through the Titan's sound barrier like it was nothing. With all of the Titan's ults exhausted, Shock finally drew first blood in the fight. As soon as Sominsu died, Choyobin threw his self-destruct from the Titan's backline. With Sominsu dead, and Bumper and Haxel's shields far away from the main fight, there was nobody to block the blast for Slime. Bumper and Haxel eventually finished Super off, but by the time they turned around, it was too late for the Titans. The Titans were spread too far apart and outnumbered, and they were easily cleaned up. Just like that, the Titans' massive ultimate advantage was obliterated, and the SF Shock were about to make history. With a completely shattered alt economy and only seconds remaining, the Titans trickled back to the payload for one last fight, but it was far too late for them. The SF Shock wiped them off the payload one last time, and just like that, broke the longest win streak in Overwatch League history. Oh my! That was an epic win from the Shock! They are your Stage 2 Champions!